Well, good morning and welcome to Red's Orchids. Now I'm in the house now and we're just having a look through the uh, the phalaenopsis, but these are not the ones I want to show you. The ones I want to show you are uh, two plants with blooming for the first time. So I'll get on with that and I'll show you those. Well, I'm in the house now. Well, I'm in the house now and this is the first time flowering of uh, Mr. Cedar. And it's absolutely beautiful and it's smelling the room out. Absolutely gorgeous perfume on it. Beautiful, beautiful Mr. Cedar. I have two of these and if you remember the other one had five or six growths on it and the uh, the old uh, plant about it was dead and it had sent all these, these uh, new growths out. Well, I think it's on the way out altogether now. And this is it. It was also absolutely covered with new growths down this side and they've all died off and that's the only thing that's left and there are no new roots so I think this is on the way out anyhow we'll keep it watered and uh, we'll see what happens to it but uh, I've got another orangus here and I think it's a biloba I'm not sure and that's in spike yeah here it is there's a spike on it and this is another first time flowering for it absolutely lovely roots on it and there's a new uh, new plant coming out there with a beautiful shiny leaf on it so uh, these I expect the flowers on these will be exactly the same as the uh, as the Mr. Cedar probably a little bigger but they'll smell just as nice so we'll have a look at that once it uh, once it flowers. Here's another little one in spike, a Phalaenopsis loei, and it's getting longer and longer the spike, and it looks like it's just forming a uh, a bloom on top now. So we'll have a look at that once it uh, once it blooms. And I'm pleased to say this Catlianthe Lug Torn. African Beauty with all these roots on it has now bloomed and it's absolutely gorgeous. Here we come. There we are. And if you remember it sent a spike up on uh, a single leaf plant and another uh, sheath up on the bifoliate and uh, but all the plants are the same they've all got one spike with uh, with three flowers on it but aren't they beautiful really really shiny and the same around the other side absolutely beautiful those I don't know whether they smell or not. I'll just have a quick whiff of them. Well, they haven't got the perfume like uh, like the Mr. Cedars and the Orangus, but uh, a very, very, very faint one. But uh, they make up for it in the blooms. That's Catlianthe Luton African Beauty. And another one I want to show you is this, uh, I don't know whether I should show you or not because it's the Kerr collab for this next week, but it's uh, Lelia Perennii, doing very nicely, but I'll show you that next week. And we've got another Catlia here in spike, well in sheath, and that's the uh, Pink Empress, and they're beautiful when they come out, so we'll have a look at this later on. Now this is a heavy plant, it's the uh, King of Taiwan and this has got a nice sheath on it as well. So hopefully we'll get something in that sheath before long. And there's the plant. And these are beautiful, beautiful blooms. Well we'll just finish this short video by having a look at this uh, uh, Catlia Dawiana. A straightforward Dawiana this it's not Aurea or anything like that and it's just opened another leaf there that's been close for a few weeks but it's just grown it and uh, 
it's looking very nice this and there's something happening I think uh, is there bit of something happening way down there so I'm hoping that will come up with a sheath because I would love to uh, to flower a Dawiana so thanks very much for watching and uh, I'm sorry it's very short but uh, it'd be enjoyable I think but uh, thanks to all my subscribers thanks to everybody who's watched this video and uh, I'll see you later oh I'm going to David's tomorrow to film his greenhouse again for the first time for a few months so we should have some fun there so until then i'll see you all later bye